Happy Thursday, everyone, and thanks for checking in as we take a look at your national coast to coast forecast. The meteorologist Todd Nelson, our severe threat will be fading now for the next few days. Still a marginal threat from the coastal bend of Texas into the lower Mississippi Valley, but we're going to see that heavy rain and flood concern continue yet through the end of the week. And uh, meanwhile, the eastern U.S. still looks very warm through the middle part of March. But our flood watch continues here from the coastal bend of Texas into the lower Mississippi Valley all the way up into the tri-state area near the middle Mississippi Valley and the confluence of the Ohio River. But again, some of these areas could still be dealing with about three to six plus inches of total liquid. There's your marginal risk of severe weather and dark green from southern Texas into the lower Mississippi Valley. Looks like maybe some gusty winds would be the kind of primary concern. Uh, general thunderstorms still in place uh, through the lower Mississippi Valley in the southern U.S. on Friday and then leaking a little farther north into the middle Mississippi Valley and the Ohio Valley by Saturday. Also seeing some general thunderstorms over parts of uh, the Four Corners and uh, the southern plains. So there's that corridor of heavy rainfall stretching from Mexico into Texas. And then the conveyor belt of heavy moisture running in from the Gulf of Mexico feeding up into the Ohio Valley. Looks like it gets suppressed a little bit and kind of fizzles out as we take you into early Friday morning as we have one wave of energy working offshore. But then this entire area of low pressure finally starts to move as we take you closer to the weekend. It lifts a little farther north. Precipitation valleys don't look to be all that heavy unless you're farther south, but still some of that starting to return to the Midwest. There's that precipitation over the next five days on the order of, again, maybe some three to six plus inch amounts, especially through the lower Mississippi Valley. And again, some heavier moisture across the West Coast, which will be in the form of snowfall through the Sierra Nevada Range, the Northern Cascades, and the Central and the Northern Rockies. But uh, temperature-wise, we're still going to be very warm in the eastern half of the country through the middle part of the month. Uh, for the most part, though, that jet stream keeping a lot of the colder air locked to the north means that we are well above average in many spots nationwide. Have a good one.